filming this song. I am at the Atlanta Aquarium. Ooh, it's peacock eels. There's some little peacock eels down there. Butterfly fish. Hey, it's a king angel fish. There's a king angel fish right there. I oh, know those are peacock eels. Look over there. There's a knife fish, a king angel fish back up there. To the next spot we go. There's the king angel fish. Mulgar eel, lion fish. Remember we had one of those things as a pet? So these are more predatory fish. Is that a fish? Childhood memories. The jellyfish. notice we don't use the term jellyfish. That's because they're related to You know you can pick those guys up? They don't have stinging cells. Fun fact, you know they make these tanks round so that the jellyfish can't get stuck in corners? Live coral too. down jellyfish. These are jellyfish. Those are pregnant males. Ah, oh, it's a bubble bone to make it look bigger. Look at them all wrapped up. Ooh, there's little polyps back there. There's a replica. Well, shark. Ooh, there's some giant trevally eel rays. Forget what those the bigger ones are called. 
There's some amber jacks in there. Oh, there's the whale shark coming. That's weird. The trevallis are up against the whale sharks. Oh, James, these are the biggest sharks next to a megalodon and Lysic piece. Oh. Looks like that guy's been injured. 
leopard sharks. They're not leopard sharks, zebra sharks. They're also called leopard sharks, though. I don't know if that one's alright. That might be a a melanistic one, but James, I'm gonna punch you. The stingers are ripped off of their tail. They don't have their stingers in Those are babies. I wonder how if they're going to do anything when it gets full grown. Oh, look at the barnacles on its tail. There's a giant trevally. Hey, look at that baby tarpon. Alright guys, oh you see how there's a skylight up there? They do they do that so they're balanced. Oh look, they're feeding the manta ray. They're feeding them krill right now. Oh, but you see the skylight up there? They're doing that so algae can grow, so they can have actual plankton growing in there. Uh, that doesn't count like the whale sharks. Hey, this is the thing they added in that one episode. Oh, that's a king angel fish. It's missing an eye, though. Okay. Nature. Can I push it? Can we do it again? Awesome. Hello, and welcome to the Hands On Laboratory James here at Georgia Aquarium. My name is Dr. Tanya Klaus. I'm the Senior Director of Animal Health. I am one of several veterinarians who take care of the amazing animals, many of which you probably already seen today. Over here on the big screen, we have a CT scan, or a CAT scan as some like Oh, it's a Mako. As a veterinarian, it is important for me to understand what is going on inside of your animal. And advanced imaging technologies like a CT scan allow me to do that. Now, a CT scan is more advanced than standard x-rays. What the CT scan does is it takes x-ray images along with a specialized computer and puts together 3D images. Those images allow us to see inside the body and look at tissues like organs, as well as the skeletal structure. Another advanced imaging technology that we typically use is MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging. What is very cool about MRI is that it uses magnets and radio waves and a specialized computer and puts together 3D images that allow us to visualize the internal layers of the animal. Sonograms, or ultrasonography, is another imaging technology that we utilize very frequently to look inside the animal. Ultrasonography